What we have today is an old medium format Zeiss Iconta 520-2. This camera was built in the 1930s and it shoots six by nine centimeter negatives, which I think is incredibly cool. Um, one of the things that I think you'll notice about this camera, and this is uh, it right here, is that it's it's small, it's it's compact, and uh, it's it's easy to carry around. I have this light little leather case that I stick it into, um, and the sort of like mode of shooting this thing is very slow. You aren't going to be running around and gunning and shooting this thing uh, from the hip. You're going to actually set it up and 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 shoot it. Uh, with a very well-intentioned shot, and I'll ex show you expanding it here. So it goes. So it's a bellows-based camera, um, and it's not a rangefinder. It has a uh, kickstand here that you can pop out, which is for shooting in portrait mode, um, and it has this uh, little uh, glass viewfinder that's really helpful. Because um, otherwise you're basically just guessing what your shot is. Um, it can be rotated for shooting in landscape mode. Landscape mode doesn't have a kickstand, uh, but it's it's only got a few settings. It's got it's got f stops all the way up to 32 from 6.3, so you aren't going to be doing low light in this thing. It's got a shutter speed from uh, 25, 50, and 100, and that's it. And then there is a bulb mode and a T mode, um, and I think. The other kind of cool thing here is this. This is actually just a shutter release cable that comes stored inside of there. You can twist it on, you can fire the shutter, um, and I use that all the time because you don't want to be bumping the camera around with, you know, the, the shutter speeds that this thing has are not very fast. Um, but I think one of the things that's like really kind of fun about this camera is just the size of the negative. Uh, it's not super often for me that I get to shoot a six by nine centimeter negative. Um, but you can actually just kind of look at it straight up with your phone, um, just invert the colors and take a look uh, and see what you got pretty quickly uh, after developing. Um, you're going to want a manual light meter. I use the Sekonic uh, L398A. It's a manual light meter that doesn't take batteries. I really like it. Um, you're also going to want Fomapan, uh, in my opinion. Uh, it's a very cheap film. I got this for 460 uh, and it... The, the 200 line, you can shoot anywhere from 100 ISO up to 800 ISO without changing your development time at all. So it's incredibly forgiving, especially for old cameras like this, um, where you might have you know some light sensitivity or you might have a slow shutter, things like that. So you can actually uh, go through rolls and maybe you mess up a couple, but 460 ain't gonna set you back out of the bank. Um, so I'll, I'll show a few examples of some of the, the negatives that I got from this camera. Um, I've been sh going out and shooting uh, just sort of like pre-positioned shots as well as just kind of things that I see out there. Uh, and you'll get an idea for, for what kind of negative it can produce. It's got a super simple lens. It's only one element um, and it just screws right off. And the way you focus actually is just by spinning this screwed lens on uh, and off. And it's kind of really not super accurate. So you, you know, uh, you really kind of got to just go with the flow. And now you can take a look at some of the pictures I took with this camera over the course of the last few weeks. And that's it for the Zeiss Iconta 520-2. I really like the camera. If you can, get your hands on one and shoot a 6x9 negative.